In this video, I will be tying the Hayden Shad fly. This is part of the Pfeiffer collection. It's also a great fly for the St. Johns River. In the vise, I have a Daiki uh, 1710 size 6, and I will be tying this fly with some pink 6 dot uni. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and lay down a base of thread starting two eye lengths behind the eye, and that is because we're going to be tying some bead chain or actually hourglass eyes uh, at the end of the tie which is a little different. I normally tie uh, bead chain or hourglass on first but because of the materials used on this fly um, we're going to do it last. Just makes it easier to tie. Uh, we'll take the thread down to the barb, snip our excess and then come back up to our starting point. For the body, we're going to be using some medium oval tinsel, and I like to tie that in at our starting point. Take the thread all the way back down, and then bring it back up. And here I like to just give a half hitch or two. That way I can use the rotary feature of my vise. And unfortunately I don't have a bobbin holder so I'm going to have to try to do this by hand and hopefully you can see what's going on. But I'm just going to use the rotary feature of my vise to begin wrapping the oval tinsel around the body. You want to Take your time. You want these to be touching wraps. and I like to just stop just short of our starting point uh, to leave enough room to palmer a hackle go ahead and capture our tinsel and snip away our excess Now, to protect that tinsel, I'm just going to hit it with little Sally Hansons and let that dry. All right, our Sally Hansons is dried. The next material I'm going to tie in is just a bit of yarn. Uh, this is just some cheap craft yarn in pink and I like to just fold it around thread and capture it with your thread on top of the hook shank and then you just want to cut it short it should just be a little puff of color about like that I'm going to be using a white saddle and it should be sparse so I'm going to find a webby hackle something about like that and I'm going to strip off all the barbs from the underside of the feather just so we get a, a nice sparse tie all right I have my saddle hackle prepared stripped all the barbs off the bottom side. I'm going to go ahead and tie it in tip first. All 
and then trim away our excess. And then I'm just going to give it two, three, maybe four wraps. And then capture it with our thread. And snip away the excess. And then I'm just going to push all of the, the barbs back and give a couple of wraps just to kind of help lay the, the hackle down. About like that. All right, and last I'm going to go ahead and tie in a gold hourglass eye. And that's on top of the hook. And try not to capture my hackle. And if you have difficulty, just spin your bobbin counterclockwise. That will help you capture your hourglass a little easier. and then I'll just whip finish behind the eyes. And snip away the thread. And that is the Hayden Shadfly. Great fly for the St. John's River. I love it with uh, a white hackle and either pink or orange yarn. And uh, you can flip flop that and do a orange or pink hackle with a, a white puff of yarn. And uh, you can certainly adapt it with colors that match your water. Great fly.